Now today, Thomas Drake, a former National Security Agency employee, is scheduled to face sentencing in one of a series of criminal cases the Obama administration has pursued against government whistleblowers, helping him to outdo every previous president in pursuing whistleblowers and prosecuting them, despite his pledge to have the most open and transparent administration in history. So joining me in studio to talk more about Obama's crackdown on whistleblowers is David K. Colompinto. I hope I didn't say that wrong. General Counsel for the National Whistleblowers Whistleblowers Center. Thanks so much for being here with us. You're Colapinto? welcome. Colapinto. Colapinto. Okay. So with this Drake case, uh, NSA employee who helped a newspaper writer write a story about some waste, fraud, and abuse at the NSA and, and was prosecuted for it, is the Obama administration trying to send a message with Drake? Is this case in point that the Obama administration is sending a message about whistleblowers? That is the, the great question. What is the purpose of this prosecution? And it's clear the prosecution was not because he leaked classified information to a reporter, but to send a message to other employees within the intelligence community don't you dare do the same thing, or you're going to face what happened to Mr. Drake. What evidence do you have of that? Do you talk to people within government? Do you have more evidence that people are less likely to come no. forward in the Obama administration than in other administrations well, and, and, and blow the whistle? Well, it obviously has a chilling effect on other employees, and that is been what has occurred generally with whistleblower law in the federal government. The irony here is that the Obama administration has supported and Congress has enacted numerous whistleblower laws that strengthen protections for people who work in the private sector. But when it comes to whistleblowers who actually work within the bureaucracy that the Obama administration controls, there is a crackdown, particularly in the area of national security. So there is a natural chilling effect on employees when they see one of their colleagues or former colleagues get prosecuted. How has this happened under this administration? Obama pledged that he was going to have the most open and transparent administration. Why has it gotten worse during his tenure? That's a big surprise. It is a really a breaking of a promise that Obama made on the campaign trail in 2008 in which he supported legislation that was pending at that time that actually would have given court access and jury trials for even intelligence employees uh, employees that worked for the NSA or the CIA to bring their cases of whistleblower retaliation into court and to seek damages before a jury. The exact opposite has occurred. But why? Uh, it's, the speculation is, if you read Jane Meyer's piece, for example, and other uh, articles that have been in the newspaper, you look at the, the Obama administration's obsession with classified leaks. The irony here is that this leak case, so-called leak case against Drake, didn't even charge Mr. Drake with leaking classified information. They actually took a legal theory, used the Espionage Act, and accused him basically of being a spy. Is this uptick in concern over leaking classified documents possibly because there are great repercussions to national security, as I'm sure folks from kind of the more uh, administration standpoint would say or suggest? No, what you have to wonder is what are they hiding? What are they really hiding? If you look closely at Mr. Drake's allegations and the allegations of others, what he, he and others in the NSA were objecting to was wide-scale spying on American citizens, invading people's privacies. One of his allegations of fraud and waste was the establishment of a program that went too far to collecting too much information on American citizens mm -hmm. without obtaining uh, you know, precautions to protect people's privacy. So do you think the Obama administration is afraid to have things get out about the, what is really going on? I think the national security establishment mm -hmm. is afraid of that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not just this case, but others where there is a crackdown taking place. Uh, they did not charge Mr. Drake for actually disclosing classified information to a reporter. So you have to wonder, why are they going to such lengths mm -hmm. to prosecute someone who really is a patriot? I want to ask you some of the other cases because a Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms agent, agent claimed that he was fired uh, for helping to expose what now everybody knows about, the Fast and Furious program, where ATF was allowing uh, illegally purchased weapons into Mexico, hoping that then it would lead him to bigger criminals. Do you think that that's why he was fired? 
Yeah, I mean, again, there's a pattern here of people exposing these harebrained schemes on the part of law enforcement and intelligence agencies, uh, sending guns intentionally across the border, knowing they're going to get into the hands of, uh, you know, uh, drug gangs, and which ultimately did, some of these weapons ultimately did kill people uh, in Mexico. I mean, that is just crazy stuff. I mean, that's the sort of thing you see in the movies. There's another case of Jeffrey uh, Sterling, uh, who was an analyst at the CIA, who blew the whistle on a harebrained scheme of actually giving the Iranians mm -hmm. information to help them build a nuclear bomb. Has all of this made you disappointed in Obama because he hasn't fulfilled this promise? Absolutely. Did you vote for him the first time around? Uh, I did. I supported him. I openly supported him. Are you going to vote for him again? Uh, that remains to be seen. I mean, the, the politics is a different thing, and uh, you, you know, you never know what your choices are going to be at the time. So, uh, you know, I'm not. I, I don't make this political. I don't make these cases political. Okay, that's interesting. So, do you think that this is more having to do with the the direction that government is going? and less about the, yes, the president, or do you think this is about this particular administration? I think it's a continuation of a pattern that we've seen uh, for many years now. It's uh, since September 11th was a marking point in our nation's history where we saw a lot of authoritarian laws. We saw the Patriot Act. We saw many uh, infringements on civil liberties. But as we're unwinding some of those wars or claiming to, why is are we not unwinding this trajectory that the country is on that you're talking about? Well, it appears that there is a lot of invasion of public privacy or, or personal privacy that is still going on. There is infringement of civil liberties. Uh, I think if the American people knew the true scope of what was really going on, uh, there would be uh, calls for changes in this country. So do you think because there's not as much, uh, and just yes or no, as much public awareness about that, but maybe there is a little bit more understanding that we're at actual wars, because there's more understanding of that, those get wound down, but there's not pressure to wind down the, the aspects that infringe on civil liberties? Yeah, the disturbing part is that we still have these domestic spying programs and crackdowns of civil liberties in the United States while we're in this wind down of a war. Is it going to continue in peacetime? We'll have to see. We'll have to see if we ever get to peacetime because we add a war every time we act like we're going to subtract one. Uh, that was David Colapinto, general counsel for the National Whistleblowers Center.